My arm's getting tired from holding this thing. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. I just said, yes, yeah, I mean, anything. I bet I could make a pretty good vodka with this. All right, so today we're gonna make a simple vodka wash from breakfast cereal. And it's just gonna have a couple of ingredients. We're gonna do some grape nuts because it has lots of vitamins in it and no preservatives. This is basically just gonna be a flavoring additive so that we have a little bit of uh, character and it's not just a straight sugar wash. Uh, we're also gonna do sugar, cream of tartar, and a little bit of yeast nutrient and a whole lot of water. And that's it. Oh, and the yeast. <laughs> Gotta put in the yeast. So let's get started. This is what's commonly referred to as a sugar head recipe. It's mostly sugar with some flavoring and the flavoring is gonna be our grape nuts. So basically we're making breakfast. Uh, Jesse from the Stillet channel did an FFV fast fermenting vodka uh, recipe with uh, oat bran in it or wheat bran. I can't remember which. Uh, his recipe, uh, if you want to check it out, is right up there in the link and this one's a little bit different. The main difference between some of the other recipes is that we're going to use invert sugar. Invert sugar is just sugar that's been boiled in water with some acid to break down the chemical bonds to turn it from sucrose, which is a little bit more complex, down into the more simple glucose and fructose. The reason why we do that is to make it easier on the yeast to digest. When you have a really high amount of sugar in your solution, very often the yeast can actually get stressed out from too much food. And when the yeast gets stressed out, it can throw some off flavors. If you've ever had a sugarhead spirit, very often they can end up kind of hot tasting and they need a lot of age on them to kind of cool them off. And a lot of times that's why people end up filtering their, their spirit so many times to try and polish that hot flavor off. You can really kind of reduce that by inverting the sugar and just making it easier on the yeast so you don't have that problem to begin with. So all we're gonna do, we've got about 16 pounds of sugar, about three and a half, four gallons of water, about two teaspoons of cream of tartar, or you could use like eight teaspoons of lemon juice. Uh, you need the acid in there to help break down those bonds, those chemical bonds in the sugar. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil, let it go for about 20 minutes. We're not trying to get any caramelization or turn it into a syrup or anything. 20 minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. So now that I've got the invert sugar syrup split up into my buckets and I've got half a teaspoon of diammonium phosphate yeast nutrient in each bucket, now it's time to turn this into breakfast. Again, this stuff is just for flavoring, not actually for giving us uh, starch conversion into sugars. We're not doing anything with enzymes. There's no enzymes in this. But the good news is we don't have to cook this stuff because it's already been pre-gelatinized and cooked when it was at the factory becoming this cereal. All the vitamins and minerals that they add to that cereal to make it extra healthy, those are all still in there and they haven't been cooked away. That's why we're not adding this until the sugar wash is cooled off to room temperature. Most of the recipes online have you cook the cereal, but when you do that, you really lose a lot of the uh, B vitamins and other stuff that can keep the yeast extremely healthy. If you try this or any other variation of this, make sure there's no preservatives in the cereal or it won't ferment. Or if it does, it'll ferment real slow and it'll probably rot. I had that happen once. Fruit Loops betrayed me. So that's why we're using this cereal. You can try any variety of cereals, whatever doesn't have preservatives in it. Also, I don't wanna clean a bunch of goop out of the bottom of my buckets or try to siphon off the clear liquid out of a bunch of goop. So I went to my uh, homebrew shop and I got these little mesh bags. So I'm gonna split this into the mesh bags, tie them up with some string and toss them in there. Simple. 
Underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> so I'm just gonna top these up with water and uh, add the yeast, and then I'm gonna do one last thing to really help this take off like crazy. I have this little um, aquarium air pump and some hose and a little air stone here. I got it threaded through the end of this ladle so I can just drop this down into the bucket down there. And I'm gonna turn this on and let it run in each bucket for about 20 to 30 minutes to oxygenate the, so that the yeast has a super, super healthy environment where uh, it's not gonna be struggling to get through all this sugar um, basically really, really fast. So before we move on to the vodka tasting with Jesse, I want to take a second to thank my sponsor. Bossman Brands is my very first sponsor and I'm very proud of that. Bossman makes an entire line of beard grooming products. I specifically didn't use any today so that you can see the difference between my crazy chin curtain and how it's going to look in a second. So let's go see what they sent me. So the first thing is this nice thick jelly oil that doesn't drip to help soften the beard. And then you've got this relaxing beard balm that helps control it. And you just massage that into your beard after a shower. Who is that handsome guy? Ta-da! See what I mean? No more hobo. Now I just kind of look like a, a well-kept biker. <laughs> and I smell really good too. That's one of the other things about this stuff. The scents are all natural. They don't smell like cologne and give you that weird kind of chemical-y smell. The one that's my favorite is actually one that I think you guys might like because you're watching my channel. It's called Stagecoach and it smells like bourbon, tobacco, and leather. So <laughs> I think you can see where I'm going with this. It fits. The other good thing about Boss Man is that their products are not expensive. And, bonus, they gave us a coupon code. You just type in BEARDED15, you get 15% off your purchase just because you're a viewer of my channel. That's crazy. <laughs> I love how this stuff works. So I just want to say thanks again to Boss Man for giving me a chance to review their products and for making such good products. This was easy to recommend. I smell good, I look good, my beard feels amazing, my wife likes how it smells, and that is important. That is very important. So if you wanna pick some up, I'll put the link down in the video description below, and also I'll pin the top comment with the link and the uh, coupon code as well. Bearded15. All right, so let's move on to the next step in the process and check out the tasting that I did with Jesse. So uh, we're just gonna watch George work. <laughs> hey, look, that's not what I came here for. <laughs> we got to go all the way from the dryer yeah. in there, all the way across, the over to there. To, look at what he brought. All right, so this is the vodka wash. Going right into the big old genio. Now what's going to happen? So, uh, Jesse, you're going to do a quick little tasting of the Grape Nuts Vodka? Yeah, dude. I've got it right here. Let me get some of the I recognize that handwriting. <laughs> so, um, I want to make clear, there are there is no grape in this whatsoever. There's no grape products. There's no grape anything. It's just called Grape Nuts because the cereal looks like little grape seeds. But uh, tell me your impressions. Um, this does not come across like a vodka, vodka to me at all. There's a lot of flavor in there. And the funny thing is if I, if you blind served this to me, blind, blindfolded, yeah. put it in the glass, didn't tell me what it is, any of that sort of thing. Right. I would be, I'd struggle 
to to decide what category it came from and the funny thing is is the closest category that i could pick would be grappa <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> which is bonkers because because you're telling me there's no none there's no grape product in it whatsoever none. it's it's malted barley flour wheat flour and some vitamins and minerals and that's it i i, I can't put it into words because i don't know the category well enough but it yeah. it, it reminds me of uh fresh white grape skin and it That's is crazy it's bizarre so, to me so can you even compare this to the ffb the teddy sad vodka because they're basically the same thing it's a sugar head with some you know some sort of grain product in it and some vitamins right um i do i find it hard to describe but i do get a certain sensation from sugar wash spirits astringency to me is not really a flavor right it's more of a mouthfeel yeah but it almost has a flavor component to it so it's kind of mm -hmm. like a mouthfeel flavor component thing that that i get from sugar wash um spirits but mm -hmm. it is quite subdued in this i think and that's the not... invert sugar one of the the things that i picked up on the hd forum is that if you invert your sugar it cuts a lot of the hot taste out of your spirit so if you're mm. just doing a straight sugar head it uh, it knocks all that heat back and and it gives you a, a much cleaner spirit that you don't have to filter and filter and filter this one's been filtered none zero yeah no it just I, came I, out of the came out of the genio that uh george ran and that was it i would believe that dude because there's so much flavor and there is a um not an oiliness but there's a, a thickness to it, it, it yeah it now drinks. also let's keep in mind that it, that it was me blending it you know <laughs> it was me doing the cuts and i don't get, um, I don't get any super spiky um <laughs> headsiness on it at all and yeah. blah, blah, blah. this is as per the label at 47 percent. Mm. so if i was going to get it i would get it at that abv yeah I don't get any weird funky tailsiness to it it is a a clean spirit that has this weird great character to it so I don't know dude it's it's really freaking pleasant the one thing that does remind me of an ffv is it has a really faint almost licorice yeah i remember you had mentioned that about the ffv and the ffv it's more like straight licorice like i get the licorice flavor so uh yeah would you would you recommend people try this recipe would you try it yourself if you had all the ingredients at your disposal yeah hell yeah dude i would 100 percent try it um, all right that's an endorsement yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks brother i appreciate it sweet man he's right all right so if you enjoyed this video you know what to do do me a favor hit that like button if you want to try out some beard products Bossman Brands, link down in the video description, coupon code BEARDED15. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section down below. If you want to see what kind of weird crap I'm going to do next, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon right next to it so you get notified when I post new content. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.